Love this funny car take on. Okay. Hey gang, Wes Buck here, Drag Illustrated Magazine, checking in with George Bryce. Man, it's so good to see you. You're this like perennial smiling face at the racetrack, no matter what's going on. And this cat, no matter what's going on, he's getting up, getting ready to go to a run, getting ready to go pick up the wheelie bar and lift the bike over or whatever. He still takes a second to shake my hand, say hi. How are you, man? Man, I'm great. If you were me, you'd be smiling too. <laughs> Things are going good, you know. It's a uh, this is uh, you know illustrated. Drag Illustrated, we're Star Racing Illustrated, so it's great for us to work together with Wes and the guys. Um, we're thankful this year to have uh, such good coverage, you know, with the new Fox Sports 1 deal. Interest from our favorite magazine, uh, and, and uh, of course I'm so glad to have my girl back. She's over here talking. Cool, man. She's, she's, doing, she's, she's over here talking, talking to fans right now. Hey, right Joe. How are you? So, I'm fantastic. How are you guys? I'm good, thanks. Well, hey, you guys are in number five. We have to run, uh, what's his name? Under, uh, Greg, Jimmy Underdog. Jimmy Underdog. So, yeah, Jim, Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy. How are you guys feeling? Great. Very good. Yeah, the bike's running good. I mean, but what? We were just talking before we got on, uh, started recording that the classes, it just feels so good to see this many bikes there. I mean, there was actually, it was a big deal just to qualify. Oh right? yeah, we have, some, we have some top dogs that are sitting on the sidelines today watching right. the races. And he asked me to write my goals this, this year, earlier, a couple of weeks ago. And one of my goals that I wrote was to qualify in the top half of the field. So back in the day, that would not have been a goal of mine. My goal was to qualify number one in every single race. Now I'm being a little bit more realistic, and I know that you qualify in the top half is a big feat. For all of you out there that are thinking about starting a business or going into business for yourself or trying to do anything high level achievement, that's some really good advice from George is to write your goals down. I mean, that's it's so powerful. They're so it's, powerful. It's uh, just putting that stuff out in there, out, out in the world makes a massive difference. I mean, it's crazy. So we we're just talking, there's 28 bikes here. George, what do you guys think it's the the interest in this class is growing. I mean, it's there's more bikes here than anything. You guys in Pro Mod are like, in my opinion, the show, right? I mean, it's reason, it's not more popular than it is right now because nobody really understands all about it. And you know, it's a in professional sports, it's the most affordable category you can get into right now, even though it's seriously expensive. But it is something you can actually do, and um, we've been doing it for a long time. She's been doing it for a long time, and we love it so much. That's one reason we want to come back, and it's really about the passion. You'll do really good at it if you, if you really love it. And if you, if you hate being here, you need to go do something else. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's why I said if you were me, you'd be smiling too. Do you guys, uh, the Fox package, when we had a meeting there the other morning at the, at the hotel, uh, Fox talking about their new uh, the new TV package and stuff, you guys got to feel, I mean, there's a really positive vibe at the races this weekend, just especially with this Fox deal. It was neat to be in the motorhome earlier watching the coverage today. You know, like, yeah. it's pretty neat, right? We're looking forward to it. I'm, I'm hoping they give us a little bit more airtime than we've had in the past. I know that our number one qualifier, Eddie Frederick, did not get an interview um, on the show the other day, which we were disappointed in, but I also understand that weather messed things up right. and we were really behind. We just wish that we didn't have to be the ones who sacrificed that time. So our goal is to make sure that even though they're delayed or they're running out of time, that they never sacrifice the pro stock motorcycles right. because I think we're just as important. We have a bunch of personality in this class. No I question. Mean, if you come down to the pro stock bike pits and you come around and meet these guys and girls, you'll be amazed at the stories you'll hear and the, you know how they got here, what they sacrificed to do this. So I, I think I mean, we have a lot to tell. True story. I've been trying to get with George for a couple of days now and just finally got it done. So well, hey, you guys be safe this weekend. They're calling us. Um, Right now. Yeah, right. they're calling us. Hey, that's us. We gotta go. Let's so, go. All right, hey. I want to add one more thing that the uh, our our friends and our and we're big fans of the ProMod category too. So we're excited about their Thursday show. On Fox. Yeah. That's going to be a great TV show that's dedicated to the Pro Mod category, and they deserve it. And that's a good start for them. I agree. And if Eddie's lucky, Craywick, I'll go down and interview him next. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. Drag Bye. Illustrated. Thanks. Thank you.